guys so thanks for tuning in let me run you through where we're at on the process of making this rocket mass heater what I got right now is uh, the base and what I'm using for this base here is uh, you see the pipe this is gonna be the feed tube where I put the wood and this is gonna be the, com the main combustion chamber inside of the, the 55 gallon drum the 55 gallon drum is gonna fit over the top of all of this and then uh, the exhaust the exit uh, goes starts here and then goes out and so what I'm doing here is I'm creating a base I have a very very heavy pipe that's going to be this internal combustion chamber a very thick steel but it's very heavy it's going to sit on top of there so what I need to do is make a very nice uh, solid base for this to go on and on top of that is going to go fire brick I got this fire brick right here and the fire brick is going to go on top of that and that's going to support the base of this this giant metal tube and it's very very thick and then once I'm done with that then it'll sit on top of there and then I'll have another 10 inch very heavy duty pipe that goes around it that sits inside the gallon, the 55 gallon drum and then the 55 gallon drum will go over the top of that now if you don't know what I'm talking about or none of that makes sense stay tuned stick with me and I'll show you how it's all gonna play out Okay, so it's kind of loud in the greenhouse. Hope you can hear me okay. Uh, what we've got here so far is uh, uh, we're doing pretty well. We've, we've got the main riser. This is the main uh, where, main, where the main internal combustion uh, occurs. And so that's in place. It's connected to the tube. It's sitting on its base. It's solid. It's level. And so we're going to now go ahead and connect the outer uh, tube uh, and put that over the top of it. And then after that, we will put down... Uh, the 55 gallon drum that'll go on top of it okay so let me give you an update right now I'm mixing perlite with sand and I'm putting it in this bucket and mixing it all together we're gonna make mix this stuff up and it's gonna be used as an insulator between this outer pipe here and this inner pipe and what I've got here going is that this is gonna be the internal combustion area uh, the, the main riser okay and right now I've got it taped off and this little piece of pipe and this little like stove top on it just to make sure I don't get any sand down this pipe I don't want any sand down there so right now I've just got it taped off with that in there but that'll come out in a minute but what I'm doing now is just filling this whole area with sand and perlite as an insulator now over the top of this of all of this will go the main uh, 55 gallon drum it'll go all the way around this area here and sit on top of this and it should sit about eh, an inch and a half two inches probably inch and a quarter somewhere around there right off the top and that should give the system a sufficient draw and allow this whole thing to, to work on top of this this is where you feed the wood and I put in a 55 not 55 gallon drum this is a five gallon uh, old kerosene drum that we've washed out and and cut out some holes on it and this is sitting on top of the main six inch feed tube and we've just tin snipped these uh, edges down and bent them over and that holds that in place with no problem, no worries. And the fire will feed right down through there. And this will give a, a, just a, a good amount of air draw to feed down in there. Now I've seen some systems out there that have a separate air draw. And this was kind of where I was kind of confused because I saw some people out there who were saying you have to have a, a separate air draw and some people who said you didn't. And so, and, and both people who are, both groups of people who said either one were both knowledgeable it seemed like or had a lot of background in building these things uh, both on YouTube some you know some on on forums and so I don't really know what it come down to but what I decided to do was go ahead and do with this what I saw one system, one person do on the internet and they put a, a just a bigger drum a bigger barrel over the top of their six inch pipe and then uh, fed the fire down through there and that allowed enough air to get drawn down into the six inch uh, pipe uh, to feed uh, the stove. So that's what I did. If I have to make adjustments, I will, but I think that's gonna work.
Okay, so we've got our insulation packed in there. It's paralyte and sand. It's packed very well inside of all of that. It's uh, basically uh, one cylinder inside of another with the insulation in the middle. And we're getting ready to go ahead now, put on our 55 gallon drum that we've got here. And if we've measured accordingly and uh, done everything correct, it should only be about an uh, inch and a half or so above the top of this. So we're gonna go ahead and see. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.